shit. Hello ladies and gentlemen and those who are in between. Welcome back to the new series of Are You Flummoxed? Here at Shadow Square Industries we strive to find new ways to talk about bullshit. For example, that rather dog shit animation. It was the first that I've ever done, and also the first attempt. So you can tell the production value is through the floor. Anyway, this series of Are You Flummoxed will move away from the funny math problems as we have revamped the show, much like Hugo Boss after the Second World War. Try and sue me, Hugo. I dare you. We've moved on to a different topic, much like your grandpa talking about the good old days. This series, we're going to talk about conspiracy theories. These, unlike our funny maths problems of the last series, have real-world implications. And the first on my list is Flat Earth. Flat Earthers believe that the Earth is flat. That's it. Almost. Some also believe Australians are paid actors and the country of Australia does not exist. This man here is a paid actor. So is this one. And this one. This one's a puppet. Flat Earthers gather on the internet to talk about their shit conspiracy theory quite often. For example, this post asked about dinosaurs, to which the response was Nazi propaganda. I'm not joking. We did not edit that. One of the biggest Flat Earth groups is known as the Flat Earth Society, which shares some brilliant insights such as this. Unfortunately for IFL science, Eratosthenes did not prove or show the Earth to be round. Instead, he assumed it in order to attempt to calculate a circumference given this. This same experiment was done by Taoist scholars years earlier and they came to the opposite conclusion by not assuming a shape, that it was flat in line with the work of Samuel Robottom. Firstly, the website, I fucking love science, which is their actual name, I know, it's fucking brilliant, they don't need to prove it, when everyone from Einstein to Tim fucking Peak have proven it's round. We've been to the moon, we have hundreds of satellites orbiting the Earth, how can they orbit a sheet of rock floating through space, I wanna know. Secondly, they mention Samuel Robottom. A fucking nutjob who inspired these wankers with his Zentric astronomy book. Which has been disproven. By hundreds of scientists. And it was fucking written in the 1800s. So these people believe that this mad bastard with a penchant for fucking socialism has cracked it over 200 years ago. And we've just been lying to ourselves. My script editor, Dogs Dogs, whilst doing some script editing and validating sources, asked me what they thought about the oceans, which of course meant we looked into it. Like all amazing theories, it directed us to the question and answer website, Quora. According to the geniuses at Quora, water can't fall off the stupid fucking spinning disc because of ice. Fucking ice. Jesus Lord. If this was how ice worked, I would never get to the wine under my ice, and it wouldn't make any fucking sense. Now, not all ice is solid and perfectly frozen, and with the changing climate across the globe, ice from different parts of the world is slightly fucking different. I cannot stress this enough, an ice ring wall cannot exist. Now I imagine you're wondering, what would happen if the earth were flat? Well, our featured article on tonight's program from the Columbia Climate School has us covered. For starters, we're unsure whether our flat earth would have gravity, hence the thumbnail of this video. Secondly, the flat earth model of thinking goes against the solar understanding we have, which of course, again, batshit metal. However, taking the first point into consideration, we would not have day nor night cycles, because we'd all be fucking dead. Also, we would not have satellites, because how the fuck can a flying satellite dish in the space of space move around the flat rock known as flat earth? I want to know. Put it in the comments if you do know. Please. Help me here. Moving on to the core of our Earth. Well, where is it? It provides a massive magnetic pull, which also ensures our tectonic plates don't twat into each other on a constant basis and we all die. It's brilliant, I love it. This article is a very good what if scenario and it can be found at the top of the description if you do fancy a proper in-depth read. 
What hurts most about this topic is people are deadly serious about it. There are songs about finding the ice wall at the end of the world, which is obviously why we don't fall off. Who'd have thought? By the way, the song is fucking awful. I'm, I'm gonna play a bit now, here you go. Hello, it's me. You know when indoctrination started while we were still naive. Isn't it shit? Isn't there better things someone could have done with their time, resources, and money? Seriously, come on. There's a YouTube documentary which could possibly be satire, but no one on the team, including myself, would watch it. Because it's by, you guessed it, Scumbag of the Year Logan Paul. We're not watching it. Don't, in the comments, don't ask me to watch it. It's not happening. Hell, whilst researching this piece, our team were baffled by the amount of Discord servers there were. And surprisingly, a lot of these people in these servers very much seem like older stubborn men. Hmm. I wonder what else they're stubborn about. Who knows? We of course are not going to link these Discord servers because the video is mostly just to poke fun at the topic, not to start a fucking manhunt. Show yourselves. In a piece ran by Forbes, it found that two thirds of American millennials, which by the way a millennial is just a term to describe when someone was born, it has absolutely no bearing on who they are as a person outside of some very small insignificant tidbits. Two thirds of Americans actually believe that the earth is round, which means there is a good chance that if you and two friends are in a room, one of them doesn't believe that it's round. I don't, it doesn't state what they actually believe. Hell, they could believe it's fucking pear-shaped. Or arse-shaped, I don't know. It doesn't, Jesus. They even have merch. Fucking merch. I was actually gonna buy some merch for this video and show it off, but I remembered I have standards. The whole flat earth theory and Facebook pages and groups on Twitter and Instagram and BBM. Does anyone still use BBM? I use BBM. Follow me on 0800 go fuck yourself. The whole flat air thing seems like a very well thought out long running joke. Like the Princess Diana Facebook page. Side note over here, that page is a surprising source of comedy. Like I, God rest our die. But comedy. So to conclude, here's a few things you can do at home to help people who you know that are fucking backwards, I mean flat earthers. Number one, show this video of me mocking them. It increases my power. Show them the misinformation surrounding the shape of the earth. Because there's a lot of it. There's a hell of a lot of it. And number three, of course, tell them the earth's fucking round and get a grip. Just punch them. Just, just attack them. Kill them if you have to. Don't kill them. Do not kill them. That's a joke. Next week on Are You Flummox, we talk about how the pay gap between men and women isn't real. Thank you, and good night.